I don't think I'm very good at filming. Sorry, viewers. I don't have I don't have the magic YouTube touch. How are you feeling today? Late night last night? Yeah, but you know, I'm doing what I love. I'm doing it for the passion, so really yeah. it's a blessing. Yeah. But yeah, um, I think the cake might be overcooked because I don't know. Fan ovens get a bit hotter. But we'll see. Smelt good. And yeah, lots more prep to do today. Yeah, what's. What's on the menu for today? So what are we doing now? And then so we're going to this Italian deli to get some prosciutto, maybe some grappa, and then we need to go and get some red vermouth and oh God, I don't know, something else for the Americano cocktails we're going to make, which we kind of haven't mentioned yet. So we've got, I guess. Yeah, exciting. Um, and then yeah, I need to go to the butchers today to get the pork tenderloin and the ground beef for the bottlenose, but I'll talk more about that as it comes up. Yeah, crap check. How? Pretty fashionable. Can we not include the crap check in the video? I think it's a bit <laughs> outdated meme. Oh, I love a crap check. That was exciting. Successful, very successful. <laughs> Beckers. God, I really can't pull that off. Okay, Matty, do you want to tell us a little bit about your outfit today? Um, people might recognise it. It's the same thing I've worn for two years now. Uh, iconic red fleece, green hoodie. Keeps me nice and warm. Same Reeboks I've had for like ages now. I'm good, baby. No shame in that. Yeah, kept me nice and warm. Just been, just got all of our stuff. Very successful trip on our way back now. I'm gonna go to the butchers yeah. to get the meat. It's filming. Do you want, are, you, are you unable to walk? I can do, I was just okay. getting a full body shot of you. So, this is um, my black puffer and black legging look. Um, Real ones will know this from Topshop Trips 2014. 2012 Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> um, my New Year's resolution was to be more uh, goth, so that's um, that's what I'm doing here. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at filming. Sorry, viewers. No, that's okay. I don't have I don't have the magic YouTube touch. That's the wrong way. Uh, I'm actually gonna put this thing on. Oop. That good? Okay. What's up? What's up, Clod? Clodge fan? Uh, just me at the moment. About to do some prep for part number two of the feast which is the ragu a la bolognese, or just bolognese sauce, really. So I've got all the ingredients here. Just to run through them quickly. 
tomatoes. I actually do have some San Marzano ones here, which is just fancy ones, but yeah, whatever, tin tomatoes really. Vegetable oil, butter, whole milk, fatty beef mince, so you want a fatty, so like a 20% fat to 80% beef, carrot, celery, onion, and white wine. And I'm pretty sure that that is it. So. I am going to get this all prepped before I make the sauce just because it's like easier, I find it easier anyway. I mean it's less likely to like mess something up or forget something. So yeah, cool. Okay, what's up? Hello, back again. Everything's prepped now. So we have everything chopped up, everything prepared. Got our big pot here ready to cook. So as you can see I kind of just diced up the veg, not too crazy. Got tomatoes there ready to go and something I forgot actually do a little peek in there got some nutmeg which goes in which is quite exciting so I've never actually made this sauce before I've made lots of variants of it god I literally don't know how to fucking film myself this is super weird um, but yeah I have made bolognese many times as my former flatmates will probably attest to. This one's interesting. Not a load of tomato, lots of carrot relative to onion and milk, which I've never included before. So I'm super excited to see how this goes. We're gonna move over to the stove and start actually cooking it. Cause this, is, this bad boy is on for another, probably like four to five hours. She says minimum three. So to me that means, maybe that's gonna mean a while. Ooh. Hello. Gonna have a little cat cam now. Hey puppy. And yeah, that is about it. Oh my god, I'm literally so bad at this. Hello, okay. Ready to cook, gang. We're gonna fry off our onion first in our butter and oil mixture. Onion's gonna go in with quite a lot of butter. And then also four tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna cook them down then after a few minutes add the carrot and celery and then I will meet you guys back when I'm adding the meat which is the next kind of exciting bit so yeah I just had to show you guys like how much butter and oil I'm frying this in pretty crazy so just vibing on medium heat I'm gonna whack in the other veggies soon happy days Okay, we're back on, <laughs> on good lighting, sorry about that. So, got my veggies going in here. They've been cooking down for a couple minutes. Now we're gonna add, gonna add our beef here. I'm just gonna... So Marcella says break it up with a fork. I'm just gonna use the wooden spoon that I've been kind of working with, just breaking it up so we can get some nice browning on all the meat and then gonna wanna cook this out a little bit before adding our liquid. Also very important, she says big pinch of salt here and this is to kind of extract a lot of the water in the beef and in the veg to be honest as well which we which we wanna which you wanna take out because if we don't cook it properly and leave it in, it will dilute the flavour of the sauce down the line. And yeah, this is a lot of salt, guys, but this is a double portion of the sauce, so no judgement, please. Thank you. So, here we are, kind of cooking most of the moisture out at the moment. One thing I would probably recommend, which I didn't do, is cut the stuff a little bit smaller, so like the, see the carrots in particular and a bit like the celery they're kind of big and that just like physically gets in the way of browning and stirring and stuff like that but we're we're chilling right now so she puts milk in next and then you reduce the milk down um to kind of as she said to protect the meat from the acidity of the wine and the tomatoes i i trust her on this i don't really understand why that works but i reckon it will cooking out this water you basically want to start also rendering down the fat so you'll hear like a sound change from like a what is now which is a bubble to more of a sizzle and that's when you know you're good so yeah chloe's still working also i've been fucking grinding away here smh 
And yeah, I'll check back when I put the stuff in. I literally cannot. I don't know how to. Maybe I make a. This just looks so weird. So I don't know if you can hear the sound change, if there is even a sound change, or I'm shank shit, but if this is now more sizzly, more of a raw, which means we're starting to render out the fat rather than the water and it starts to kind of brown the meat so it just adds like another level of flavour to the dish that's why you cook things like cook the onions first all this kind of stuff is to add layers of flavour in the end and then all those flavours get in amongst it for like three hours whatever on the stove okay we'd be really sizzling now so I'm gonna add in the milk whole milk to give it some nice richness and then we're basically going to cook this, cook this down until it's almost gone, according to Marcella. And that is going to, yeah, provide more, more fat to the dish, which it was sorely missing apparently. I will come back. So add in the nutmeg, then wine, then tomatoes, and then we're ready just to simmer this bad boy for, for a long amount of time. Okay, we ready? Are you ready? Yeah, so as you can see, it's the majority of the milk. Now, nutmeg goes in. Show us the little meglet. There it is. Yeah, that's what a little meg looks like. There's wine going in immediately after. Yep. Have you put white wine in bolognese before? I don't think so, no. That's exciting. Um, there is an Adam Ragusi video about it. <laughs> using, <laughs> using red wine in cooking. If you reduce it too much, it can, can become bitter. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I think it could be good. It's snack time. Do you resent the intrusion? Oh. Tomatoes go in now. I'm gonna now bring this up to bubbling. Whack it down to, as she described, the laziest of simmers. Oh, such good phrasing. Um, and then this is just gonna go. So, we're gonna, and if it needs any water, classic little tip in the can to rinse out any of the leftover tomato juices. Hey, yo, simmer check. <laughs> Was that joke funny that you just made? At the start of the simmer, I'm going to check on it periodically. It's going to thicken up a lot. <laughs> so how long has it been on for? And you're going to ask that, I literally have no idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's had the three hours, I'd say. Okay. So it's all, all up from here, baby. It's only going to get better. How are we feeling? You've tasted it a little bit. Yeah, so like I kind of thought it was, was sweet with the carrots and I'm still ruining my mistake but I'm not chopping them small enough. Oh. But apart from that, it's good. The milk gives it a good amount of body actually, which usually you put like a, some stock in but it kind of removes the need for stock. And when you're cooking something for this long you like, don't really need stock because it looks very rich on its own. Why are you pointing at me for? Because you have to tell us the time. How long has it been cooking for? Feels like a lifetime. <laughs> it's been like five hours, five hours. Okay, five hours. let's have a look. Yeah. What do we think of the look? Yeah, I think it looks good. I'm pleased with it. We have sampled some of it. Yeah. Like a couple of hours ago. It was good. Good full verdict tomorrow, but pretty sweet. Maybe slightly too sweet, but apart from that, it's a winner. It's a good. It's a good yeah. sauce. Let's see how the flavour develops over 24 hours. Exactly. So we're gonna put these in Tupperware, let them cool off, and pop them in the fridge. Very fun. Bird on a 
tree.